Hi, welcome to the garage. We're going to be doing a three-part series, turning a Jeep Liberty into a Toad. And we're not going to use magic to do that. For those of you who are new to RVing, a Toad is referred to as a vehicle that is pulled behind a motorhome. So, part one, we'll be installing the base plate on the Jeep Liberty. We went with Demco because our tow buyer is a Demco. And I've laid everything out here on the table that comes with the kit. Uh, we installed one of these once before, but it was on a Jeep Wrangler. It was three bolts. It was a piece of cake. This one's going to be a little bit more intense, whereas we have to take the front bumper cover off of the Liberty to install it. Should be fun. So, let's get to it. Okay, so what we have to do first is we got to take out these two pop rivets. You can either um, pry them out with diagonal cutters, or you can drill them out. I'm going to just drill them out. Then just pull them right out. The next step is there'll be three push fasteners that need to come out. A flathead screwdriver, pry out on it. They just pop right out. Do that with all three of them. So in the last one, they just pop right out. Now we'll move on to the next step. Okay, the next step is going to be to remove three of the clips holding the fender flare onto the uh, bumper cover. So down the bottom, there's, you've got to play with it. There's a, there's a, it's, it's locked in, there's two tabs, and right above that is the first push pin. I really can't get in on it too, too good. I hope I can show you in a bit, but if you get it, it pulls right out. These are the two um, clips that I was talking about on the bottom. The, they don't pull together or anything. You really have to manipulate the fender flare to pull them out while you're squeezing the, uh, this fastener also. Just to give you an idea of how these clips work, because uh, you're going to be blind doing them, really. The two edges right here, they squeeze together, pops right out. That one's easy. That one's not so easy. That one's difficult. This one here, I actually pushed into one side and finagled it out. Um, this thing will pull back the, the, the other side, but the clip is still fine. Still works fine. Okay. The next step is to remove this bolt right here. It's a 10 millimeter. So we have... Uh, four steps completed so far. We're up to step five, but being that this is a 2011 Jeep Liberty, we get to skip to step six. Okay, and this is the one they're talking about. There's one on each side. Kind of got to twist these out. They're pretty much not reusable. And then I got one over here too. Okay, so then you got to slide the red lock back. And just disconnect the light there. Same thing on this side. There was an additional light to pop out. It's right there. Okay, the way to get those out, just grab hold of it, twist up, pull back. Front bumper cover is now removed. When you're pulling it back to get to these lights, disconnect these lights, you may have to push down on these tabs. We were able to get ours out without a problem. So, now. Well, Moving on to the next step. Okay, so, so far it's going okay. It's a very, very hot day to be doing this. But the next step is we gotta take these two caps off. And again, we'll be using a 10 millimeter socket to remove them with. And the second cap is off. Moving on to the next step. So the next step we had to take two of the bolts that came with it and one of the strips and put the bolts through backwards. Now underneath here, you see here? Mm -hmm. These two holes right here, where you're going to stick this in. All right? And then you're going to take, you're going to mark the, uh, where the other hole is going to be, because you're going to have to drill that. <laughs> Marking. And there's my mark right there. That's where I'm going to drill my hole. Doing my center punch. And a half inch hole, but that's a little bit big for the first drill, so I'm going to do a pilot hole first. Two holes have been drilled now, one on each side. So now you just insert the strips in, and now we're going to uh, mount the base plate to it. So we've added the nut strips into 
the holes. And now we're going to attempt to install the base plate. Okay, put it flush. I'm going to try to slide it in. That's about it. Are you flush? Yeah, let's see if I can't. It took two of us to hold it up and get it into place, but we finally did with some struggles. And now he's holding it on. Okay. I'm applying blue Loctite, which came with the kit, to each of the bolts. And I'm just reinstalling. We found the best way to uh, get this up was as soon as you got it here, just, just put the bolt. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so I'm applying blue Loctite to each of the bolts that I put on. This was supplied in the kit. And then I'm just installing it. But we did putting this up, it was a pain, even with two people. But when you got the bolts close, and when you got the bolt holes close, go ahead and throw in some bolts. And then make sure they all line up before permanently putting it in. So now we're gonna go and put these caps back on. Base plate's installed. Okay, so we cut two pieces out already and we did a test fit. We're gonna need to take out at least two more sections here. So we're gonna cut them out, do another test fit. We may end up just taking the whole grill out, but we'll see. We took out those two extra additional sections. There's only two sections left, but it's resting right up against the base plate. So I'm just gonna take them out too. So we completed taking the grill out. So now we have a nice large opening. So we'll be going with a six-way um, hitch switch. So what I'm going to do, we decided that we're going to put it approximately right here. So let me mark that so I can drill it. So when you're putting the front bumper cover back on, remember to do your side marker lights. You put it, line them up, and turn. There, it's locked in. Okay, then after the marker lights are done, do the indicator lights. Remember to relock it. Okay, make sure all your tabs are lined up in the little slots. And... And just and push your bumper back in. Now you want to take your fender flares. You want to line up your uh, fasteners in the holes. Push it back in. That was cert certainly went on easier than they came yeah, off. And put the pop fasteners back in with the hole. Three on each side. Just push them in. Okay, using the supplied rivets that they're going to send to you, they're plastic rivets, stick it back in the hole, use a pair of pliers, and then take a pair of vice grips, grab hold of it, and roll back. I do it twice, just to be sure that I got it really well. I tried putting it in my rivet gun, and I didn't have a size that big, so. And then, once that pops off, you can just go ahead and uh, cut it down. That's it. All right, it's almost back together now. Those pu push pins, um, we could have probably reused the ones that um, we took out, but I went out and I bought new ones anyway. We just went to AutoZone, we paid like $4, we got 15 of them or something like that. So there's the two that you took out underneath there. Okay, the base plate installation is complete, along with uh, the electrical. I'll probably spray paint that black. Uh, so it matches the rest of it. So, part one done.